as an artist, I'm often making things that I somehow think are out of step. And that usually leads me to um, looking to see whether other artists are doing any kind of similar work. And a while ago, I found myself making what I considered to be still lives. So as I started looking around, I realized there were a lot of other artists who were making contemporary, new, challenging work that might be called still life. And that led me to make the book, Nature Mort. I usually then turn that into a touring exhibition. The way we create the show is that we have a core group of artists, it's about 70 artists, who are traveling to every destination. And then we work closely with each museum's curators to include artists from that country, but also from the collection, both masterpieces as well as contemporary artists. We, from the beginning, have a very, very close relationship and an inspiring dialogue with the creators of the museum to create as vibrant and as relevant an uh, exhibition as possible. In traditional still life, there are five topics of interest. There's flora, fauna, food, domestic objects, and vanitas. So the book is organized along that principle, and the exhibition is as well. We try to find some pieces that are not obvious in the context of nature mort. So, for example, we have Magdalena Abakanowicz, uh, who is, is very famous Polish sculpture. We have embryology, which is a piece uh, that is something between being and not being. So I think th this piece is very interesting in the context of nature mort. Even though uh, it's contemporary art and it's many different materials such as video, photography, print. The subject matter is still kind of being explored in the tradition of still life. It's a continuous way of working and thinking in relation to our mortality. So we have all these artists reinterpreting ideas that exist within the classical still life, but that most people will not even know the historic uh, metaphors and so I'm hoping from the show by mixing historic work with contemporary work we can explain those metaphors and explain how contemporary artists are then taking them and pushing them uh, further again. We can see that there is a strong dialogue between the older pieces and the most current ones.